Hot news out now direct from Club Barcelona fans celebrates this great information that just come out. The fans already knew and what we all expected happened, Barca shoot Espinhal's Ponto with a big slot in the Elche. And at any time technician Xavi will shake the web with this news. And if you are a faithful fan of the Catalan team and want to stay into all the news at first hand, subscribe to the channel because I'm following everything and I will leave you update on all news. Lewandowski makes two, Barcelona walks on the flashlight and shoots Espanyol's tip. Gave what was expected. No scares. No dramas. Not much sweat. Barcelona thrashed last-placed Elche 4-0 on Saturday at the Manuel Martinez Valero Stadium in the city of Elche, province of Alicante, and further extended their lead at the top of the Spanish championship. The Polish Lewandowski scored two. Ansu Fati and Ferran Torres completed the scoring. After 27 matches, Barca reached 71 points, 15 more than Real Madrid, who complete the round on Sunday against Real Valladolid. Elche, on the other hand, will hardly escape the fall. With two wins, it has 13 points and only 19 goals in favor in 27 games. So far, he has conceded 55 goals. Playing against the worst team in Espanyol, the goal was just a matter of time. Elche still tried to advance the marking, but the technical difference did not allow the hosts to scare the current leader. The first goal came at 20. In a rehearsed move after a free kick, Araujo headed Lewandowski, who kicked with his right foot, the ball deflected off the pole's left foot and passed through the defense and Elche's goalkeeper. If at 0-0 Elche was already struggling to reach the Catalan goal, with the score at a disadvantage the situation did not improve much and goalkeeper Ter Stegen was practically a spectator. Barca tried to touch the ball and even had Lewandowski helping the defense. Barca's second goal came only at 11 of the second half. In a counterattack, Ansu Fati started with the ball dominated a little before the midfield until he got close to the penalty area when he hit a low cross shot. Ten minutes later, the Catalan midfielder stole the ball from Elche's defense. The ball fell to Lewandowski inside the area, who kicked and widened. The fourth goal came from the left foot of Ferran Torres, who received a throw and, from the middle of the area, touched the right corner of Edgar Badia's goal, in the 25th minute. Barca's next duel will be against Real Madrid in the Copa del Rey semi-final at home, on Wednesday. For Espanyol, he will only play again on the 10th, also at home, against Girona. Elche will visit Osasuna on Saturday, for Espanyol. Faithful faith of the biggest in Catalonia, what did you think of the match against Elche, was it quiet? Or not? Leave your opinion in the comments, because as always your opinion is very important for Barca fanatics. And if you're also a faithful Catalan fan and don't want to be out of the latest news, subscribe there so I can give you everything firsthand. Thanks.